So in trading, using trading bots and through other means, or even just buying and then selling eventually, I've realized that trading fees, whether they be gas fees or software service fees, can really cut into the profits. So I want to take a better look at this today and give you two pieces of advice or two things that you can use to help reduce your costs in trading. Now, these might seem to like no-brainers to a lot of people, um, but for me, it was just a realization that maybe I wasn't doing it right. So with no further ado, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do, if you use EasyBot, now EasyBot is a software uh crypto trading software that through an API sends a buy and sell signal to your exchange where you hold your funds to be traded. So all it is is software. But if you're an easy bot, like a lot of my um, people in the Discord are, which package are you in, right? Which package are you in? Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, which package are you in? Because the different packages take out different amount for fees. So if you trade a high volume, you know, maybe you need a higher package. So if you have a low volume of trades, you're paying 0.4% of your closing trade. So if you close a $100 trade, they're going to take out 0.4. And I can show you this. Like, look at all these cells here, right here. It says $172.54. They took out an SFSC fee of 43 cents. I'm grandfathered into 0.25% at my package, but now it's 0.3%. So if you trade $100, you're gonna spend 30 cents on fees. Now that sounds pretty small compared to $100, but it's not $100 profit. So if you're a high volume trader, you might wanna look at getting a higher volume package that takes out less of your money for fees. Now, but I will tell you this, the software service fee that EasyBot charges is not the greatest expense in the transaction. If you look at, just change gears a little bit, every single, this is Binance US, this is what they charge in in fees as well, 0.38 as a maker and 0.57 as a taker. So you're going to pay fees on the way, way in and out. And these are different levels of trading. Now, greater or less than $10,000, 10000 to 50000 50000 to 100000 100000 to a million, and so on and so forth. The, the fees get lower and lower. If you look at Kraken, same thing. Very similar setup, very similar to Binance's. Binance's might be a tad bit better. Then you look at Coinbase, huge fees on the low end, and then they get better, aggressively better as you go up. If you're trading 400 million, hey, they're gonna charge you very little. I would too, that's a lot of money. And same with Kraken, you're gonna trade 10 million to 100 million, they're gonna charge you nothing on the maker and 0.1 on the taker. So there's a huge advantage. Now listen, if you're like most people, that is, you know, 100 million, 10 million. That's unfathomable amount of money. But let me just show you something real quick. These are the trades I've made. I put them on the spreadsheet. I made 4,800 trades with EasyBot last year. This is just my EasyBot trades, 4,800 trades. 4,800. You didn't think I made that many, but I did. Here they all are, okay? Now, if I add up all the value of those trades, all the value of those trades, it's not a small number. Even though I only had a couple grand, like on an average, maybe four or $5,000 trading, I traded a sum of $363,475. Now, that is, that. where does that put me? So right here, that puts me uh, right here at VIP4, 0 0.09 to 0 0.19. Now that's about, Let's see, about three times less in fees than I'm paying right now. Kraken, that would put me right here in 0.1 to 0.2. Again, you know, 40% less. Uh, it is less than I'm paying now in my Kraken fees. Significantly less than I'm paying now. Coinbase, way less than I'm paying now. Coinbase is a little more expensive. Not saying they're bad. I think they have some great attributes a little more expensive. Currently, I have my money spread out amongst these three accounts. So I'm only getting a fraction of that. But if I can get all of my accounts over this 100K amount, then I'm gonna pay the least amount in fees that I can giving my volume. Now, the next step up is a million bucks. I don't think I'm gonna trade a million dollars amongst all of them. I might, um, because I keep putting more money in there, but it's unlikely. If I was gonna do that, 
you know, that the advantage is less than the risk of having it in just one exchange. So if you're spread out between three exchanges or you're thinking, how can I get my trading fees down? Just think about these two ways. Number one, <laughs> there's two ways. Number one, are you in the right product? I have a link down below if you're not an easy bot at all, if you want to check it out and you pay a one-time fee and uh, a year, and then you, there's the SSF fee, SSF fee or software service fee on top of that. But as you can tell, it's a great bot. I've used it. I'm not, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to get into it. But if you're looking to get into a crypto trading bot, this is a great one to check out. Here's four different packages. The, the gist of the packages is what they charge you as a fee and how many bots they give you. Because I'm currently in a, in a hybrid of an old school advanced package. I have 10 bots, but I get three connections. And um, I'm probably going to upgrade to VIP package very soon to reduce my software service fee, get more bots, and to be able to make more connections. Right now, I'm trading on three different exchanges. But the next piece is make sure you're in the right place, paying the right amount of fees given your trading volume. You know, if you have thirty or fifty thousand dollars in your trading bots, you know you're probably getting over a million. So make sure you're in the right place for the amount of volume. This is just three options. There's a lot more than that out there. You know, people have talked about other exchanges, but these are the three that work with EasyBot in the US. So that's about it. So just wanted to do a quick video. If you're not paying attention to which product you're in, or if you if your trading volume is enough where you, know, you can be at the right exchange, make sure you're in the right exchange based on your trading volume. And if you're like me and have it spread out amongst three places, make sure you're not shooting yourself in the foot by being all at one place. Now, I like the hedging my risk across three exchanges because if one fails for whatever reason, I don't lose 100% of my funds. That's just me being risk adverse in a very risky world. That's all I got. Hope you got some value on this. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button now, like, share, do all those things, and I'll see you next time.